recently I reviewed this uh, microscope and also recently I had to repair my heat gun so now we're going to combine those two and repair or replace the micro USB port on this little tablet uh, that's completely completely broken we're going to need to change it out for a new one so without further ado let's get the old one off most important with these heat guns once you've finished a job is to switch the heating element off completely and then uh, put the air on full to get it cooled down to around room temperature before you switch it off. I'm pretty sure that many of the failures experienced with the heaters on these are due to not following that simple procedure. Here you can see that I've cleaned the old solder off of the pads and in retrospect possibly that wasn't a great idea because now I'm going to have to go in and uh, tin those contacts once again. Uh, might have been better to just have removed the solder from the, the, the fixing pads and left the, uh, the, the, the centre five pads uh, pre-soldered. Oh, we live and learn. Here I've just placed the new micro USB connector in place and apply some flux. You can never have enough. Now it's simply a case of tacking down each of the individual connectors one by one and making sure that there's no bridges between the connections. And finally, I don't show it here, but uh, flip the board over and uh, solder the, the main supporting tags uh, from the underneath. So now as a final test, we'll connect the USB and make sure that uh, our charging port is repaired. And there we can see the, uh, the charge indicator. 